As a brain doctor, I've seen many surprises but this one truly shocked me. A single exercise that many seniors do every day could silently increase their risk of stroke overnight. And no, it's not an extreme workout. It's something most people think is totally safe. But before we dive into the details make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. But if you're over 60, your body reacts differently and these six exercises could silently raise your risk of stroke, dizziness, or dangerous blood pressure changes. Number 1. Standing Forward Bend Bending forward from a standing position may seem like one of the safest and most ordinary movements. Whether you're picking up your keys, tying your shoes, or stretching your back, it's something we all do without thinking. But here's the surprising truth for adults over 60, this simple action can quietly become dangerous. When you bend forward too quickly without proper support or body awareness, your blood pressure can drop suddenly, leading to a condition called orthostatic hypotension. This happens because gravity pulls blood away from your brain faster than your body can adjust and that delay in circulation can cause dizziness, blurred vision, or even a sudden blackout. Many seniors don't even realize this is happening until it's too late. One moment you're bending down the next, you're on the floor, unsure of what hit you. And if you lose balance and fall, especially if you hit your head, the risk of serious brain injury or stroke goes up dramatically. I've seen patients who suffered concussions, internal bleeding, and even hospitalizations from what started as a normal stretch or quick reach. A small movement, but a big consequence. The risk is even higher for seniors with high blood pressure, poor circulation, or those on medication that affects blood flow. These underlying conditions make your body even slower to react when posture suddenly changes. Unfortunately, many people ignore early warning signs like mild dizziness after bending, thinking it's just a fluke. But it's actually a red flag that your cardiovascular system is under stress. The good news is, preventing this is very simple. If you need to bend forward, always move slowly and intentionally. Start by planting your feet shoulder width apart. Bend your knees gently to lower your center of gravity, and if possible, rest a hand on a stable surface like a chair, countertop, or wall. Give your body a few seconds to adjust and never rush. These few seconds can make all the difference in protecting your brain from sudden drops in oxygen and pressure. Remember, it's not about avoiding movement. It's about moving smarter. Being aware of how your body reacts to simple actions like bending is one of the easiest and most powerful ways to reduce your risk of stroke, falls, and serious injury as you age. Number 2. Lifting Heavy Weights Strength training is often praised as one of the best ways to stay healthy and independent as we age and that's absolutely true. But when done the wrong way, especially by adults over 60, lifting heavy weights can quietly turn from helpful to harmful. One of the biggest mistakes seniors make is lifting weights that are too heavy or holding their breath while lifting a habit known as the Valsalva maneuver. While it may feel natural to hold your breath during a tough lift, doing so causes a rapid spike in pressure inside your chest and head. This sudden rise in blood pressure can place enormous strain on the blood vessels in your brain and in some cases, it can trigger a stroke or a vessel rupture, particularly in those with existing hypertension or fragile arteries. Many seniors don't even realize they're putting themselves at risk. They may feel a sudden rush to the head, slight dizziness, or pressure in the chest during or after lifting, and dismiss it as fatigue. But what's really happening is a cardiovascular strain that the body may no longer be able to safely handle. I once met a retired firefighter who was in great shape, but during one heavy lift at the gym, he felt lightheaded and almost fainted. His doctor later explained that the blood pressure spike caused by holding his breath under strain could have caused a stroke if it had gone just a bit further. The danger increases when lifting is done without proper form, especially when trying to push limits or keep up with younger gym goers. But here's the good news you can still lift weights safely and effectively. The key is to choose weights that are challenging but manageable, and most importantly, to breathe correctly throughout the movement. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower. This keeps blood pressure more stable and reduces stress on the brain and heart. If you're unsure about your form or breathing technique, don't hesitate to ask a qualified trainer who understands how aging bodies respond to exercise. It's not about lifting heavy it's about lifting smart. Because the goal isn't just strength it's longevity and safety. Number 3. Crunches and Sit-Ups Crunches and sit-ups are often seen as good exercises for strengthening your belly muscles. But if you're over 60, these movements can quietly put you at risk not just for back pain, but for something much more serious, a stroke. Here's how. When you do sit-ups or crunches, especially quickly or in large sets, 
you put a lot of pressure on your chest and abdomen. This internal pressure pushes upward toward your brain. If you also hold your breath during these movements, it makes things worse. This extra pressure can cause a sudden spike in blood pressure inside your head. For seniors with weaker or thinner blood vessels, something that naturally happens with age this can be dangerous. In some cases, it can lead to a blood vessel bursting or a stroke caused by bleeding in the brain. What makes this more risky is that during crunches, your head is also bent forward over and over again. That movement can put stress on the arteries in your neck, especially the carotid arteries, which send blood directly to your brain. Repeated pressure in this area may reduce blood flow or, in rare cases, cause a tear inside the artery. Both of these can also lead to stroke. Many people don't feel anything right away. But if you've ever had a headache, dizziness, or blurry vision after ab workouts those might have been warning signs. Number 4. Squatting Movements Squats are often recommended to keep the legs and hips strong, especially as we get older. They help with standing up from chairs, climbing stairs, and keeping balance. But for seniors, doing fast or repeated squatting movements can actually put your brain at risk and in some cases, increase the chance of having a stroke. Here's what happens. When you go from sitting to standing quickly or do squats too fast your body experiences a sudden change in blood pressure. This is known as postural hypotension, which means your blood pressure drops quickly when you change position. For younger people, the body adjusts fast. But as we age, the blood vessels and heart may not react quickly enough. This sudden drop in pressure can cause less blood to reach the brain, even for just a few seconds and that's enough to cause dizziness, fainting, or a fall. Why is this dangerous? Because if you fall and hit your head, that can cause a traumatic brain injury, which can lead to bleeding in the brain. One of the most serious types of strokes. Number 5. Rapid Neck Rotations Turning or stretching your neck might seem like a good way to release tension and many people do quick neck rolls or fast side-to-side -side movements without thinking twice. But for seniors, these rapid neck rotations can be far more dangerous than they appear. In fact, they can become a hidden trigger for a stroke. Inside your neck are two very important blood vessels called the vertebral arteries. These arteries carry blood to the back of your brain the part that controls balance, coordination, and vital body functions. When you twist your neck too fast or forcefully, especially over and over again, you can accidentally pinch, stretch, or even tear these arteries. This reduces or blocks blood flow to the brain, which can cause a vertebrobacillar stroke a serious type of stroke that affects the brainstem. What's scary is that many people don't feel anything at first. Some may just feel a little dizzy, off balance, or experience blurred vision. But in more severe cases, people have had strokes just minutes after doing a quick neck stretch. One report told of a man in his 60s who twisted his neck during a home stretch and had a stroke shortly after all from a simple motion that didn't seem risky at all. Another danger is that neck arteries can weaken with age, so even small movements that were once safe in your 40s or 50s may no longer be safe in your 60s or 70s. If you already have high blood pressure, artery disease, or poor circulation, the risk is even higher. Move your head carefully from side to side, and avoid any jerking or snapping motions. If your neck feels stiff or tight, use a warm compress or speak to a physical therapist who understands senior health. The goal isn't to stop moving it's to move in a way that protects your brain and arteries. Number 6. Long Plank Holds Planks are often called one of the best full body exercises and it's true. They can build strength in your arms, shoulders, core, and back. But for seniors, especially those with high blood pressure or heart problems, holding a plank for too long can put dangerous pressure on the body and even increase the risk of a stroke. Here's why. When you hold a plank, your muscles are working hard to keep your body still and balanced. That effort causes a buildup of pressure inside your chest and belly especially if you're holding your breath at the same time. This internal pressure makes it harder for your heart to pump blood smoothly and can cause a sudden spike in blood pressure, especially in the brain. If your blood vessels are already weakened from age, high blood pressure, or other health issues, this kind of pressure could lead to a blood vessel bursting in the brain a stroke. Another risk is that many people forget to breathe during planks. Without even realizing it, they hold their breath to stay stiff and stable. This lack of oxygen can also cause dizziness, lightheadedness, or stress on the heart. One older woman I knew used to challenge herself by holding two-minute planks every morning. Over time, she started experiencing tightness in her chest and headaches. Her doctor later told her that her blood pressure was spiking dangerously during those long holds. 
The good news is, you don't have to give up planks you just need to do them safely. For seniors, it's better to hold a plank for 20 to 30 seconds at a time, take a short break, and focus on steady, deep breathing the entire time. You can also modify the plank by doing it on your knees or against a wall to reduce pressure while still getting the benefits. Remember, strength is important, but protecting your heart and brain is even more important. Choose exercises that challenge you without putting your health at risk. As we come to the end of this important video, here's what I want you to remember. Staying active is one of the best things you can do for your health but only if you're doing it the right way. The goal after 60 isn't to push harder or follow intense routines, it's to move smarter, protect your brain, and keep your body strong without taking unnecessary risks. Many of the exercises we talked about today like crunches, squats, heavy lifting, or quick stretches might seem simple or harmless. But for seniors, they can quietly raise the risk of a stroke, a fall, or a serious injury. That doesn't mean you need to stop exercising. It just means you need to listen to your body, adjust your movements, and make safety your top priority. If this video helped you, or if you learned something new, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend or family member who may need to hear this too. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss our videos.